So, welcome to Excalibur TV. <laughs> um, and as pretty much everybody knows, here's Jonathan, our principal auctioneer and toy railway specialist, to talk to us about some very special items coming up in our auction on the 22nd of July. Hello. Over to you, Jonathan. Well, we had to make a video about these. These were something special when they uh, just turned up out of the blue at our um, our offices. Um, we have a group here of uh, three uh, original, very early Star Wars figures um, from the first, very first batch of UK production in early 1978. We have uh, a Sand People, which is Lot 152. Um, we have a Stormtrooper, which is Lot 153. And we have the incredibly rare Vinyl Caped Jawa, which is Lot 154. Um, and all of them are on original uh, Palatoy 12-back um, cards, which is the original card used for... Um, the first production run when there were only 12 figures available. Shall I go on? I'm sure they want to know a bit more. <laughs> so, if I show you here, we have the uh, Palatoy 12 back cards. Palatoy were the UK distributor uh, for the figures. They didn't manage to get them out in time for Christmas 1977. So this is very early 1978. And as you can see, there's just the 12 figures on the back. Um, these are still sealed on their original packet as they came out of the factory. Um, but some of them are rarer than others. So we have the Sand People, we have the Stormtrooper. They're both estimated in the sale at three to five hundred pounds. Each. Each, indeed, each. Um, this here, however, is, as I said earlier, this is the very, very rare vinyl caped Jawa. Uh, up until about seven years ago, um, this was thought not to exist on a Palatoy card. Some of these had, had um, been found on uh, Kenner cards in the US. Kenner were the U US distributor of the toys, but it was thought that um, this model had been replaced by the time it got in got to the UK distributors. The um, the Jawa figure has a vinyl cape, and when they were first issued in the US, um, they decided that they didn't look good enough for the price point that these figures were retailing at. So they decided to change the figure and to put a much, much bigger cloth cape on the figure to make it look a bit more like it, like they appeared in the film. And that became the standard for the Jawa figure. Um, because the U UK uh, distributors were running a little bit behind the US distributors, they assumed, people have assumed, that none of these made it to the UK in time to put on a Palatoy card before they were superseded. However, this is not the case, and a few of these have come to market. We think there's probably about 10 in circulation. Um, but this one very much proves the timeline, because this one um, was provided by Palitoy to Marvel UK right at the beginning of the production run for use as a promotional item in a competition that Marvel UK were running in their Star Wars Weekly comic, giving away full sets of these of these figures, full sets of 12. The vendor who supplied these is was the art director for Marvel UK. And as the story goes, a set of 12 came in to be photographed or various figures came in to be photographed they decided that they would get a, a nice group shot with eight of the figures. They took them off the cards, unfortunately, and made a, sh and made a shot with, with eight figures who they regarded as the main characters. But the lesser characters they decided to leave out, and these got left on their cards. 
and just made it home with the art director and they've been sitting in a drawer ever since. Um, so you said that the Sun People and Stormtrooper have got estimates of three to five hundred and you've mentioned that the Jawa is more rare. So what estimate is that going in with? Well, we're putting a conservative estimate on the Jawa at ten to fifteen thousand pounds. Um, one of these has sold previously uh, about three years ago for twenty two thousand um, pounds. This one has a couple of minor scuffs just to the corners of the card here and here. Um, but interestingly enough, what it does have, which the other one didn't, is an unpunched card. The, the shelf um, hanging tag is still in situ in the card at the top here. Um, another of these figures, but on a Kenner card, sold late last year for £27,500. But we just have to, to be conservative. The figure is here to sell um, and it'll be interesting to see what it makes. Thank you, Jonathan. So that's Lot 154, the Star Wars Jawa, uh, in the next Excalibur Maroyway Way uh, Diecast and Vintage Toy Auction on the 22nd of July, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, so these will be going through under the hammer at about 11.30 if you want to tune in and see what it goes for. Thanks for your time. See you then.